want to welcome everybody on Facebook. Uh, we have a new uh, camera and everything yeah. that we're trying out today. So I got uh, Brother Luke here with me. Good morning. Uh, good, morning good morning. Good morning. And good morning. we just are uh, asking that you call your friends and family yeah, and neighbors and things. Yeah. Get them on. Uh, let them know that Only Believe Ministries Faith for Friday is on right now. Uh, as you can tell, we're in the radio studio yeah. here at 102.7 KTXJ. And um, we're here, uh, thankfully, again, uh, Luke, yes. to, to have this yes. platform Amen. to, to tell Amen. people about blessing. the Lord, the blessings of the Lord, and, uh, oh, and, and the encouragement of the Lord. So yeah. uh, we are live streaming this, I yeah. hope, uh, uh, all on the Facebook, uh, on our YouTube yeah. channel, Just and other places. Notification. You got the notification? Got the Good notification. deal. So we are, uh, we're live streaming, and uh, so just tell your friends and family and relatives uh, that uh, Only Believe Ministries Faith for Friday Zone. We're going to be giving you an encouraging word from the Lord. And Luke, we're going to be talking about our uh, youth event yeah, coming up we all, as well. Yeah, we definitely are. You know, and we're going to be talking about uh, a little bit about Roy Fields. We're going to be playing some of his music. And so it's going to be an exciting time oh, yes. uh, that allows us to uh, get prepared for this youth yeah, event. Yeah, everyone up. prepared, right? Yeah. And so, you know, Roy will be right here in these radio studios uh, Friday, a week from today. Yeah, week Friday, from today, Friday, Friday, next Friday. So we're excited about having him and uh, Melanie come to Texas. Mm -hmm. It is his first time to uh, to minister in Louisiana. And uh, so we're, we're real excited about what the Lord is doing. Uh, you know, I can only give him glory and praise because without the Lord uh, doing the things that right. he's been doing, this would not be happening. Right. That's, that's true. You remember, Luke, I talked about before how true. the Lord spoke to me. He Come said, on. if you do the leg work, the he rest. said, I'll take care of the rest. <laughs> and I'll tell you right now, we have been doing some leg work uh, oh, yeah. in southwest uh, Louisiana, southeast Texas, over into Lufkin, uh, and uh, different areas. We have a lot of churches. A lot of pastors, a lot yes. of ministers that are saying, hey, we're going to be there. Come on. We're going to be on. there. And, you know, Roy shouted out yesterday. I was watching him on a live uh, Facebook post that he did. Uh -huh. I think him and Melanie were having dinner somewhere eating. And he, he shouted out and said, look, I'm, I'm inviting everybody out of Oklahoma, oh, my, Arkansas, yeah. Mississippi. This you know, is this, thing, this thing this is going to get big oh, quick. Goodness, you know? yes. And so those of y'all that uh, uh, have been kind of following us know, that Roy is going to be uh, here in Hemp Hill on April the 17th, 2 to 5. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he will be ministering. And we call it a youth event, but it's really for a whosoever. It's a whosoever. It's a whosoever. It's a whosoever. It's a whosoever. So we invite everybody to come out uh, right. 2 to 5 uh, next Saturday. And then after he uh, is com finished ministering here, uh, Sunday morning, he's going over to uh, Pastor Jack Osteen's church over in Leesville, Louisiana. Uh, where uh, they have the First Assembly of God over there in Leesville, right on the main street. Very, very large church. So Roy will be ministering over there Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon. Yeah. And since then, we've uh, we've had some conversations, or I have with with a couple other pastors as they say, "Hey, yeah. can I get him to come to my <laughs> church?" And I said, "I bet you can." So we're hoping that the Lord is just going to do a work in our in our oh, area. Yeah. Uh, to just really bring about a revival, to just yeah. really get people on fire for the Lord. We, you know, we call this this event running youth, running yeah. with Jesus. Running with Jesus. Ignite. So, you know how? Yeah, we're going to ignite them ignite uh, the fire. With, with the music and with the Word of God. Yeah, Roy's going to be ministering to us, yeah. uh, and it's going to be an awesome time. Oh, yes. So we've got about we've got about three minutes before we go live here uh, on the radio. And uh, in the meantime, y'all just bear with us. Uh, y'all call your friends and family. Uh, let them know that we're we're going to be coming on here live. And uh, y'all just uh, kind of get get everybody online. Get them get them online watching. Yep. Uh, hopefully, uh, I know we're we're praying uh, for Anna right now yes. too, and praying for a good yep. good report there. And Anna, if you're online, we just uh, love you and thinking about you, yes, praying for yep. you today. So definitely, uh, you just. Definitely. Uh, uh, you just absolutely have a blessed day. We miss you. I was hoping Anna was going to be here I know. I, I, I was excited. Yeah. Did she tell me? Oh, yeah. it broke yeah. my heart. No. So, uh, but anyway, uh, we, we look forward to having her, and we just shout out to the West Sabine High School, the yeah. students, you know, because, uh, man, there's things going happening over there that's just awesome. Yeah, we it? have another t uh, Tigers for Christ event coming up April 22nd, so yeah. it's going to roll off of yeah. what 
uh, Roy Fields is going to April 27th. Well, tell us a little bit about that. What are y'all uh, going to be doing there? We're going to have, uh, I forgot the speaker. Oh, my God. Uh, forgot the speaker. Anna, Anna set this one all up. Anna, okay, Anna good. set this one all up. Good, good. And so you're gonna have the you're gonna have the speaker and we're gonna have probably speaker. have some games yeah, and things probably have the same thing just yeah probably longer yeah yeah so we just uh, we just excited about what the Lord is doing definitely but anyway definitely. so that's gonna be Tigers for Christ over there April at the school 22nd. April twenty second what time is that start five to seven five, five to seven, seven. okay West Bean High School so uh, I tell you that's gonna be an awesome time oh and, yes and uh, but anyway we're gonna we're gonna continue getting ourselves set up here we got about a minute. And uh, well, actually, about five minutes actually uh, until we go live. And listen, if you're out of the listening area right now, if you're on Facebook and you're out of the listening area, you can go to www.1027ktxj.com and click the listen live button anywhere in the world that you're yep. listening from uh, because uh, you can listen on the internet by going to that website, www.1027ktxj.com. And of course, to find out anything that's going on with our ministry, Only Believe Ministries, you can always go to www.onlybelievegod.com. And that gives you all the upcoming events and things that's going on. Has uh, has Roy Fields' uh, event mentioned there. Uh, also, uh, it's where you can get connected to us either on Facebook or YouTube as well because there's some links right there on the website. And so we're going to continue... Uh, moving forward here and getting ready to go live uh, we have an exciting teaching we're going to be teaching out of Romans chapter 6 uh, uh, if you want to if you all want to get your Bibles out out there and in, uh, in the Facebook world we're going to be uh, beginning in Romans chapter 6 verse 1 and be talking about that and see uh, what what happens from from uh, uh, when when Paul was talking to uh, when Paul was talking to uh, the folks, uh, we were just, uh, he was questioning about the sin in yeah. people's lives. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we're going to be teaching a little bit about that. We hope it's encouraging for you. Yeah. So we got about about four minutes left. Y'all be patient. We'll be going online. Call your friends and family. Let them know that Only Believe Ministries Faith for Friday is online right now. And we're going to, we're going to, uh, we're blessed to be a blessing, I tell you. Amen. We're blessed to be a blessing. And so you get yourself prepared there, Brother Luke. And I'm all set yeah, ready. You're set and ready. <laughs> this is, like I said, this is a, this is not a, a video studio. This is a radio studio. Uh, that's right. <laughs> but you know what? We are we're going to make the best of it. We sure uh, are. We just, we just want to get the gospel out. That's it. That's I the main objective. I don't care that's how it. we do it. Yeah. If I do it with a can, two cans <laughs> with a string tied between them. You remember that when we was kids? Goodness well, great. I remember that. Have you remember, remember that? I, I tried that before. Yeah, we, we did that when we was kids. We had two cans tied with a string between it, and we'd talk in them cans. Yeah, you, know? you get the string real tight. And, yeah. and, and so, uh, you know, your voice can carry. And, yeah. Uh, but we praise God that uh, technology <laughs> has carried oh, us a lot further. Oh, my goodness. A lot further than uh, a can. Uh, Everybody get your cans out. Yeah, get your Tune cans in. out. <laughs> That's right. Oh, but anyway, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a great time great with the Lord here. Yes, and so y'all get tuned in. We look forward to what the Lord is gonna do here. Amen. As we as we read these scriptures and we just thank God for this platform. Uh, Melda, Melda's uh, working today, uh, and she sends her love. Uh, she says, "Tell them all, I pray." Third John two, over yep. each and every one of you. So Melda, if you're listening, we love you. Yes. Uh, Miss Bobby, you're listening. I'm not able to see people online uh -huh. that I normally can. Uh, so if you're coming online and asking questions uh, on Facebook, I cannot see you because of the way this Mevo camera is set up. Uh, all I know is we we are live online. I did get the uh, uh, notice. Luke got the notice that we yeah. that we are online. And so what we want to do is uh, let you know that I cannot see you commenting right now. So if you're asking questions or making comments, uh, just bear with us and I'll answer you after the fact. Uh, when, I, when we get done with this programming, I get online and if you have any questions or prayer requests or comments, we'll always get with you uh, at, at, uh, after the program. So we'll be running live here. We've got about two minutes. Y'all bear with us. 
course, you're going to hear our theme song coming yeah. up. We walk, right. walk in the spirit. spirit of God. Yeah. Walking in the spirit. We're going to be playing a couple of Roy's songs this morning. Uh, one of them that we have queued up here, Miss Patsy queued up for me, is uh, You Are God is one of them we're going to play this morning. And at the kind of toward the end, his theme song or his signature song, Stand Up. This is a this is a song that's going to rock the Oh, my goodness. Good. I tell you. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna hear that plumbing the hip gonna, uh, from oh, the rodeo yeah. arena. I mean, huh? Woo, football game has nothing on yeah, this that, That's exactly right. <laughs> that's exactly right. So y'all bear with us. And uh, again, I can't I can't see your uh, I can't see any of your comments because of the camera that we're using here. So y'all bear with us, and I will be sure and answer uh, any of your your questions or anything after. So we got about a minute. Y'all bear with us. Be going live here just in a minute. And uh, so y'all bear with us here. Was planning an attack on a church. The details of a got about 45 seconds. Was living in a housing project in southern France and is suspected. You're going to hear the theme song come on. The church in nearby Brother Luke and I love y'all. Yes, we do. Here we go. That's our end news. Four California counties are opening COVID well, vaccines. I said, oh, no, we got. Oh, we got a minute. Wow. We got a minute. Hold on. There's a cup. Yeah. I got excited. I got excited. It's not time yet. Technology. Technology. It's not time yet. Oh, I love it. Melda always says, we got we got uh, five minutes and 30 seconds. I messed up. Y'all bear with me. I'm not a radio guy. The Lord says you can't be a smart aleck because you don't know everything. Oh, oh, oh. So, Last time we cut off early, too. We had like 30 seconds. After. Did we? Yeah, remember? Oh, my goodness. Well, we're not going to do that now. We're going to use every minute. Melly usually reminds me that we usually have 30 seconds. <laughs> That's right. All right, we got 15 seconds now. This is for real this time. 10 seconds. <laughs> not right. Here we go. The first Here we go. Here we go. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Here we go. All right. Y'all know that song? Oh, yeah. Y'all hear that song? You know, when you hear that song, that it is only Believe Ministries, Faith for Friday, coming on. We're going to live by the Spirit of God. Yeah. Yeah. Live by the Spirit of God within. Come on. Live by the Spirit of God. Listen. I will not be conformed to the ways of the world. Yeah. Yeah. I will not be conformed to the ways of the world. We're just having way too much fun. Yeah, we are. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Good morning, good morning, good morning. 102.7 KTXJ right here in Jasper, Texas. If you are listening to our voice today, you are listening to Only Believe Ministries, Faith for Friday. Hallelujah. We are thankful. Uh, Brother Luke uh, Birdwell is here today. Yes. Melda is, uh, it wasn't able to be here, but Brother Luke is here. And I uh, remember he's a young man from uh, West Sabine High School, Tigers yeah. for Christ. Yes, sir. All right. And uh, we've got a, a, a really a relationship since about January yeah, this year, it's, right? Yeah, it's gone back. It's, it's, it's gone good. back. So, but the Lord has put us together for such a time as this. Oh week. yes, He has. And divine so, appointments. Uh, divine appointment. <laughs> so, before we get started, we want to uh, thank our sponsors, uh, Louis and Michelle, uh, with Louis Prayer and Pizza out of Manny, Louisiana. Yes. They're a great sponsor to Only Believe Ministries Faith for Friday program here. We could not do. Uh, this program without faithful partners and sponsors of Only Believe Ministries. We thank every single person that continues to give faithfully uh, that we can proclaim this gospel Amen. all over the world because anywhere you. there is internet, yeah. you're going to hear this program. You yes. know, people say, well, what about those that are like over in India? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Because I have some pastors in India that yep, are tuning in tune right in. now. Yes, they and do. how they tune in is going to the website. They go to the internet and type in www. Uh, I'm sorry, www.1027ktxj.com. Yeah. And you can hear this radio program anywhere yeah, in the world. I've, I've done it. Yeah. Anywhere in the world. Yeah. And you know, if you're out of the listening area. So we thank God for this platform. Uh, of, of 102.7 KTSJ, yeah. you know, Patsy, Paula, Talisa, everybody here, the whole crew here, without this radio station, the gospel of Jesus yeah. would not be proclaimed in the way it is right here out I of know, Jasper. Yeah. And so we thank God for them. And 
before we get started, we're going to just have a word of prayer because we just want to give God all the glory Amen. for what is about to happen Amen. in this hour. That's Lord. right. That's so, right. Uh, Heavenly Father, God, we love you and yes. we thank you so much for this day, Father. We just, Father, uh, we just want to encourage people today. We just want to express your love, Father, uh, to them today. Father, we just love you and thank you for this opportunity to just proclaim your word. That, Father, as we speak it, Lord, that, that Lord, it would be going into people's hearts and into their minds. And, Father, that it would just change lives. We love you and thank you again, Father. And it's these things we yes, ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Come Hallelujah. On. Uh, if I don't Jesus get your fire going, yeah, your wood is wet, you, huh? boy. Is your wood wet out there today? Amen. Because we want to light your fire. Speaking Come of lighting big, our fire, huh? think about this. We have this. an event coming We have up. an event coming Yes, up. we do. Let's talk about it, Luke. What, Roy what's, Fields. What's happening? Roy Fields is coming to Hemp Hill, Texas. His, his ministry name is Run With Fire yes. Ministry. You can... You can go to the website royfields.com to yep. check him out. You know Roy has been uh, been ministering in over forty nations, yes. okay, and he's been ministering in front of forty thousand people can you believe? And down in Brazil. And Roy is coming to Hemp Hill, Hill Texas. Texas. I'm telling you, we have a we have a. Uh, people, uh, uh, we have a census of about 1,100 people. <laughs> 1,100 people. So, uh, but you know what? We're expecting a huge event. Yes, we are. Because I was listening to Roy yesterday. He posted on uh, live on Facebook, uh, Luke, and he he said, "Look, he said I'm going to be in Hemp Hill, yep. Texas, at the rodeo Come on, arena." He gave him the point. He gave him the point. Be. And they say, well, how do you get there? There's only one rodeo arena in Hemp Hill, Texas. Texas. That's it, right. It's not hard to find. No, it So you Google Hemp Hill, Texas, rodeo arena, you can come here. Drive but he, on out. But old Roy, he said, hey, I want people from Oklahoma. Come on, come on. I want people from Arkansas. I want people from Mississippi. Y'all just come on come down. Come on, have fellowship. Because we're going to have fellowship in Hemp yeah, Hill, Texas are. at this youth event. It is going to be awesome. We're going to have... a. Just a lot of pastors and ministers there yes. uh, of uh, the gospel. Yes. Uh, a lot of youth ministers will be there. Uh, I have been told that there are many uh, churches in Louisiana that, oh, yeah. are, that are just busing their, their young but people over. On. Yeah, they're busing them about. over. I know in Lufkin, I talked to a minister yesterday. He said, man, we're coming. Yeah. We're going to be yes. there. And so the excitement is is being risen yes, up. And, and you know what? Revival is about to break out. Yeah. Amen. I, just I believe it. That the third, I believe it. Listen, Woo! the third great, great awakening. awakening. Come oh, on. Come the third on. great awakening. Yeah. Jesus said, the word of the Lord said that the latter day reign. Yeah. The latter day rain will come, and the and the latter day will be better than the first. Yes, you know the refreshing. We're yeah. we're seeing oh. the refreshing. Come on. You know the 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 world has been shook. Yeah. And now yeah, the shaking, the shaking has taken come place, on. and now we're shaking it's, together. It's, man, come it's, on. it's we're breaking shaking. loose the strongholds, the shaking. Come Everyone's on. falling. They're coming to him. Hallelujah. It's shaking loose the bondage. I, we just want to invite everybody out on April the seventeenth. It's next Saturday. Yes. Two to five. Uh, gates are probably going to be open about one thirty or so. Y'all come. We're gonna we're gonna have a a great time in Hemp Hill, Amen. Texas. Bring your young people. Yes. Bring your old people. It doesn't it's matter. It's a whosoever. It's yeah. a for a, that's right, Luke. It's a whosoever. It's for a whosoever. So we just we just want to invite everybody to come because it's going to yes. be absolutely awesome. And look, come e blessing. come expecting. Oh, uh, you oh, hear me? Come on, come, come expecting. What is it that you need from the Lord today? Yeah. Do you know how many people? get healed when they sit and worship and praise the Lord. Right. You know the reason why people get healed when they praise and worship the Lord is they have taken their mind off of themselves. Yes. And they have put their mind on Jehovah Rapha. Come on. Come on. God <laughs> is my healer. Yes. And when you put your mind on Jehovah Rapha, oh, when you put your mind on Jesus and by his stripes we, we were healed. healed. Come on, word. We are healed over 2,000 years, years ago. ago. When he hung on the cross, he took care yeah. of the healing in yes. our bodies. He took care of the salvation yeah. by Ain't his blood, blood, the forgiveness of sin. It, I, I call it the atonement package. <laughs> Jesus is the complete package. Do you know when he hung on the cross, Brother Luke, and he said, it is finished? It's finished. Come on. Ain't we nothing else we can do. We can't add to that. No, we can't. We, we don't can't need to add to that. Why, why would anybody try Exactly. Huh? Why exactly. would anybody Come try on. to add to that? Come so on. the thing is, is when Jesus said it is finished, he said, look, if somebody's out there listening to us right now and you need healing in your body, yeah. he's, Jesus said it's finished. It's finished. Jesus oh, said, 
we're operating from victory. From, oh, we're, come on. We're operating, from, that. we're operating from victory. We're come operating on. from cavalry. Are you saying that we're not, we're not the victim anymore? No. We're no, not the, we're the victor. Yes, so he that is in me, what? Is greater is than greater. he that come is on. in the world. And, and, we're come more, on. and we're more what? More than the conquerors. We're more than the conquerors. Come yeah, on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Man, Let's get up in there. I want to tell you oh, right man. now, uh, the Holy Ghost is all up in come here on. right now. And I'll tell you right now, we, we we're talking to somebody out yes, there. Yes, we are. Yeah. You know, and and what if what if right now somebody's listening to us, Luke? Yeah. And they and they don't know Jesus as their Lord Come and on. Savior. Yeah. You know, and because there could be somebody just driving through Jasper. Yeah. So who are these two? Who are these, who, are these two who are these two crazy guys that's talking about Jesus, Jesus already? Christ. Well, we we're, we're telling you that God loves you today. Yes. And he wants you. He, and he, he and said he all should you. come to repentance. Come on. He called. He, he's, he's calling you, Heavenly yes. Father. And you know, yes. right now is the day of salvation. There we go. Is what the Lord is saying. Yes. Uh, the Lord is speaking to your heart right now. And if you yes. don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, no. today is the day of salvation. You don't say, well, so, so, she, but you may be saying, but how do I do that? Right. Well, number one, you got to confess, number one, that you're a sinner and you lost. you got to claim it. And, and, yeah. and you're, you're, you're just lost, and you don't know, you have no hope without you Jesus. Yeah. And when you humble yourself yeah. before the Lord, yes. and when you say, Lord, I need you, guess yes. what he's going to do? He's going to come right up inside of you. Yes, you confess is. him as Lord and Savior. Absolutely. You confess him come as on. a son of God yeah. that lived and died and was resurrected. Believe. And when you believe that he is God yeah. manifested in, in the, the flesh, flesh. Yeah. he is your Savior. Yeah. And you say, Lord, I want you to come live in my heart, and I want you to live forever in my life and yes. be the Lord of my life. Yes. Guess what? You just got born again. Yes, you did. Hallelujah. <laughs> and I can call you my brother instead of calling yeah. you my neighbor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know Good. what I'm saying? You, 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 you can, I can call you my brother instead of calling you my, my neighbor. neighbor. Praise God. Come on. Isn't that awesome? We're part of the family. Part of the family. Of and, family and listen, tree. God don't have any grandkids. No. Huh? No. God We're all sons and daughters. We're all sons and daughters of the Most High God. God yes. has no grandkids. Come on. Come and on. so, I'll tell you what I want to do right now. Uh, man, there's a song that Roy sings. He he he, uh, he sings it, and it's yeah. an awesome song. Yes. It is called, You Are God. Yes. And I want us to listen to this song right quick, because we're talking about the one and only, only true yeah, living, God. living God. Listen, Come on. you know what makes us different, us Christians different than Come all on. other religions of the oh, world? Come on. I know. We are the only, I don't even like calling Woo. us a religion We're because not. religion is a bad word in my mind. Come on. I, but we are the only people, let's just say the only people, the only covenant people yes. that has a God that lives today. Yes. yes. Muhammad's dead. Buddha's dead. All those yeah. other gods are dead. As a matter of fact, they're carved out in wood and stones yeah. and plasters. But listen, Jesus is alive today. People are asking him, where does he live? Where does he live? Where does he live? Oh my. If Come you're on. born again, he lives in you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're baptized. You put on Christ. You are. Yes. Come on. We're Come going to be on. talking about that. Yes, we are. We're about to. We're, we're about on. to be talking. <laughs> but listen to me. We we have the we have the only living God yes. in existence. Yes. He, he was, He is, and He will always be. Jesus says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, Omega, the beginning and the end. Listen, when you come into the family of God, you come into an eternal family oh because of the covenant relationship. Listen, you know, people say, people say well, uh, you know, God did this back in the day, and God did, yeah, He did, He did. But, you know, God has never changed. Yes. But what has changed is how God deals with mankind. Yeah. God deals with mankind through covenants. Yeah. And today yeah. we have the better covenant. Oh, wow. We have the best covenant. Yes. <laughs> because this covenant is yes. made upon the blood yeah. of oh, Jesus. Come on. Come yes. on. Yes. And because he bled and we're died, sealed. we are sealed with him. Yes. Come on. We he is see we are seated with him in heavenly yeah. places right now. And because of the blood of Jesus yes. We have a covenant to know that we are the sons and yes. daughters of the Most yes. High God. Amen. Man, Amen. I want to tell you right now, Man. for any of you that are listening out there, that, that maybe you have lost your hope, maybe you have lost your way, we want to encourage you. Maybe, maybe you are what is called in the Scriptures backslid. Maybe you have backslid away from God. Well, you know yeah. what? Just like the prodigal son. Come on. 
the father is waiting for you to come yes, running he back. Ran, he ran before he even got there. The father he ran to him with the, open arms. The father runs yes. to the prodigal. Yes. And and God the Father is running. You know, Jesus left the ninety nine to go after the one. Yes. You may be that one that yes. is lost right now, or maybe has backslid, and maybe you, you've had some bad things yep. spoken over you. But I'm speaking life over you. You know, Proverbs yes. eighteen twenty one says death and life or in the power, the power of, of my tongue. tongue. Yeah. I'm speaking the words of life over you today. Yes. Jesus said in John 6, 63, he said, the words that I speak to you are spirit and their life. Yes. So I'm speaking the words of spirit and life yes. into you right now. Yes. And, and to give you hope and encouragement. Listen, you have not gone too far. You have not done anything so terrible yes. that the Lord has not already forgiven you. Yeah. All you need to do is come back to God through Jesus, his son, Jesus says, my sheep hear my voice and follow me. Yes. Listen, oh. he is speaking to you right oh. now. And so Brother Luke and I are encouraging. Yes, we are. And definitely. so we want to play definitely. this right now. And Roy feels as he's worshiping, uh, this song is called You Are God. So enjoy this as we worship with you right now. Yes. off the air right now but still live on Facebook y'all yeah. listen live on Facebook Come we're on. off the radio right now listen this is a good song beautiful, beautiful song Choppy, bear with us. Jesus' name, I speak healing. Yes. Jesus' name. Y'all listening on the radio is coming in much clearer on the radio. 102.7 KTXJ. Hallelujah. Look at that. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Redeem us with our love. Come on. You are God. He's faithful. Faithful. Faithful to finish the work that he started in you. Come on. Man. I refuse. I refuse. That's right. Come on. Yes. That's Roy's going to be here next Saturday. Come on. Singing this song. Be in the radio station next Friday. That's right. Yeah. We'll do it in. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Y'all worship with us. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Yes. Listen, here we go. Yeah. Raise your hands and yes. praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on. Woo. Raise your hands. Praise the Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Lord, touch us, Lord. Lord, glorify you, Lord. Lord, we exalt you. Lord. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. We worship you. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Come on. Yeah, look at that. You are God. Yes. Hallelujah. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Come on. <laughs> Lord, yes. Woo. No other. Come on. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise you, Jesus. We declare. We declare. We declare. Come on. Woo. Yeah. We Thank you, Lord. We worship you. Yes. Thank you, Lord. God, you are faithful like no other. You are. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Only one and true living God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You are God. Yes. Come on. Woo-hoo! 
Come on. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, all the earth. All the earth. Come on. just a sample of what's going to be happening next yes. Saturday, yes. April the 17th, You Are God. That's one of Roy's mm. great songs that he sings, and we just thank God that he, uh, you know, he's a prayer warrior, him and Melanie. Yes, him and Melanie are prayer warriors, and you know, they prayed about coming to Hemphill. As a matter of fact, I need to let folks know, you know, we originally intended for Roy to fly, fly here, yeah. right? Come on. Because it's about a 14-hour yeah. drive. Definitely. Okay. So let me tell you what happened here a couple of weeks ago as uh, I, I left a men's meeting that we were having on Thursday night, men's Bible study. I got in about 11 o'clock and the phone text, you know, I dinged and I wow. looked down and it was Roy texting me and I said, mercy, what's going on? Because I knew it was midnight <laughs> yeah. in Florida. Florida. And I said, Lord, what's going on with Roy? So I called him up and said, Roy, what's going on? He goes, well, David, he goes, Melanie and I have been praying. Yeah. And he said, you know, he said, uh, I don't think we're going to fly. I said, really? I said, okay. I said, what I said, what are you going to do? He said, we're going to drive. Yeah. And I said, well, Roy, what has uh, the Lord told you then? I said, because oh, wow. I know that you would not be doing this exactly. unless the Lord said something. And he said, the Lord told me, he said, the reason why I want you to drive, he said, is I don't know when you're coming back, back home. Come on. Huh? Come on. Roy told me, he says, David, Melanie and I believe we need to be flexible. Something is about We need yeah. to be flexible because something is about Come to happen on. up Come and on. down that Sabine yes, River. It is. Like it's never happened before. before. And he said, we're driving there. He said, it's a 14-hour drive. We'll split it up. But we're driving there. And he said, we're going to be flexible enough to do whatever the Lord, the Lord tells us to do. to do. Exactly. Isn't that awesome? That is a blessing. You know, because on, on Sunday morning, he's going to Pastor Jack Osteen's yeah. church over in Leesville. Yeah. You know, and I have another pastor in Lufkin. Lufkin. Man, yeah, he's Lufkin. really excited. Yeah. He yes. wants him. So you know what? Listen, folks. Uh, those of you that are listening to the sound of my voice, there is no telling what the Lord is about to do Amen. up and down this Savannah Amen. River. Amen. In southeast Texas and southwest Louisiana, this place is about to get shook. The glory of the Lord is about to fall on this upon, place. Oh goodness, and you know what? The People are going to be experiencing God's love like they have never oh, experienced yes. God's love before. Yes. I want you to know that if you want to be part of a revival Come that's on. about to happen, Come on. you need to be at the rodeo arena next Saturday, yes, you April the 17th, yes. 2 to 5, you want to see it because revival is going to get lit off. <laughs> you know, I know in East Texas and Southwest Louisiana, you see these National Forest people that are always burning stuff yeah, up. Always burning. You know, they burn about a thousand acres in behind my house the other day. And the Lord says, you know what, I'm going to show you what's about to happen. Oh. Man, they lit that forest off. And I mean, that thing looked like a tiring oh inferno. My goodness. He said, I'm fixing to light my people off in yes. the same way. Oh my goodness. He said, you Come just think yes, them thank pine you, trees and that thank brush is burning? Lord. He said, listen, he said, when I when I start burning, it says God is a consuming fire. fire. Yes, it does. He said, when I start burning through my people, he said, I'm going to burn that chaff up. Oh. He said, I'm going to burn oh. the stuff up that doesn't belong, belong in your life. On. He said, I'm going to burn on. that sin yeah. and that on. desire yeah. of the temptation. Yeah. He said, I'm going to be burning this up away. out of my people. Yes, he is. He said, I'm calling my people out of religion. Yeah. I'm calling my people into an intimate relationship bondage, with Jesus. Calling them out. I'm yeah. calling you out of the bondages of yes, sin, the bondages of religion. Yeah. Come on. I'm calling you right now is what my the Lord is name. saying. 
By, by, oh, oh, come on, have you heard? Name. Have, have you, you heard, heard the, the Lord? Have oh you heard my name? goodness! <laughs> have oh, you heard the name being called? Man, I tell you, well, brother Luke, you got a, a scripture you want to believe? You know, I, I don't never get in the way of the Holy Ghost here, and uh, I know that the Holy Spirit speaks through uh, Luke as well, and I and Luke has got a little uh, scripture here prepared. We want to give you some encouragement out of the Word, yeah. and uh, man, we're just gonna we're just gonna uh, read it, and we're, we're gonna see what Spirit we're gonna let the Holy Spirit right. just kind of speak. Always through. do. So come on, let, so we're gonna go, start go in uh, Romans chapter six, verse number one. All right. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we, that are dead to sin, live longer therein? Know ye not that so many of us, as we were baptized into Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death? Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we should walk in the newness of life. Amen. And you know, just, just to kind of put, uh, keep reading there, Luke, go, yeah, ahead, and read, go ahead and read, uh, uh, let's keep reading until verse 8. Yes. Or look, verse 9. Come on. For we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Come on, come on. Knowing Ooh. this, that our old man is crucified. Amen. Come on. Our old man is crucified Hallelujah. with him, that the body of sin might not be destroyed. Might be destroyed. Might, might be destroyed, yep. that henceforth we should not serve sin. Come on. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Amen. Now if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. Amen. Knowing that Christ being raised from the, the, the dead dieth no more. And death had no more dominion over him. Come on. Or or over me. Think oh, about this. Or over on. me. Keep on reading. Where are we at? Okay. Uh, verse what, 11. 10? 11? Yeah, a 10. 10. 10. Yeah. For in thee, in thee that he died, he died into sin once, but he that liveth, he liveth unto God. Likewise reckon that ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto Come God on. Come on. through Jesus Christ our Lord. Come on. Let not sin, let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, that you should obey it in the lust thereof. Listen to this now. Th this is a good reading that oh you picked goodness. out, Luke, because, you know, so many times, uh, you know, and, and people that preach the grace and the love of God yeah. sometimes get accused of this. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to tell you because I, I preach grace, I preach faith, but there's a there's a a balance that we must have in the two. Most definitely. So, but Paul was preaching grace here, the love of God, and the question come up, uh, somebody asked him, said, well, look, yeah. if we have this grace of God that is just so abundant that yeah. God died and he forgave us of all of our sins, then really I can just live how I want yeah. to. And you know what he's basically saying is God forbid. God forbid. No, God forbid. Yeah. Yeah. So my question is this. If you have an attitude, uh -huh. <laughs> that, listen, if, if, you're, if you're one of these people that say, well, I can live however I want to do, uh, however I want to live, uh, because um, uh, I'm forgiven. Yeah. My question is, are you really born again? Amen. Exactly. If you have that attitude, exactly. why would you want to continue to live in sin? If you're really changed. If you're really changed yeah. from the inside out. As a matter of fact, it says right here in these scriptures that a dead man can't sin. Right. Right. Isn't that what it says? Yeah, that is what it says. That a dead man it cannot, cannot sin. sin. Yes. So if, if you, brothers and sisters, and I'm going to call you that until you prove me different, Brothers and sisters, if you are dead to sin, yes. why do you allow sin to continue to reign over you? Yeah. You know why? I'm glad you asked the question. <laughs> because number one, you have not been taught that you can live without it. Number two, you have not been taught your identity in Christ to Come know on. that you are the righteousness of God in Christ yes. Jesus. And yes. you have not been taught how to walk in the Spirit so you yeah. do not fulfill the, the lust, lust of, of the your flesh. flesh. Yes. Listen, yes. and this is what being a disciple is all about. Yes, it is. We are, we are, being, we are making disciples that only believe ministries yes. and other places around. We're not the only one. We don't have it cornered on the market. But, uh, you know, Pastor David Ebar is yeah, another one. He is. That he's oh, a preacher goodness. of the gospel. He teaches it. He's like teaching it the word. I thank God for Pastor David yes, Ebar over at Little Flock. He, he's my pastor. Church. He's a blessing. And I want to tell you, anytime you teach people about how, how terrible sin is, you need to also teach them how to get out of it and not right. have to live in it. Right. You see, a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't, don't understand. So what happens is people get all messed up and caught up, yeah. and and they keep struggling with sin, whatever yeah. it may be. You know, I I know I know men that struggle with pornography. Yeah. You know, and I say this: look, 
It is not the devil that's making you turn the computer on and looking at that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Listen, Come listen. It's your you, it is it is your choice, your choice. to sin. Yes. It is my choice to sin. I just choose not to. Not to. Yeah. Come on. Exactly. Come on. You know, I want I want to read a scripture to you over in 1 Corinthians chapter 10. The Holy yes. Spirit just brought it up to me. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 uh, verse 13. Let me turn over here. 1 Corinthians 10, 13. Listen to this scripture. I want oh, to, come on. People need to understand that, that you know God knows the beginning to the end, the end to the beginning. He knows every word before it comes out of your mouth. He knows, God knows every temptation of sin yes. that you are going to be tempted with. And listen to this scripture right here. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 10, come verse on. 13. It says, there, there has no temptation taken you but such it is common to man, but God is faithful, yeah. who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you're able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you're able to bear it. Listen to me, folks. Listen. God knows when you're going to be tempted to yeah. sin. Yes. Not only does he know when you're going to be tempted to sin, but he also is giving you Your a way, way out. out. Yes. Listen. You have door A and door B. Every single decision you make, yes. either you're going to live for Jesus as your Lord. Do you know? Listen, Luke. What what is what does Jesus being my Lord mean? What does that mean? Being my Lord, it just means it means that He is the, the ruler. Yeah, he, just he's the center of your life. He's the He's the center, yeah. the center, center of my life. So think right. about this. He is He is my Lord. He is my ruler. So listen. In that scripture, it says that God is faithful. Listen, yes. when we are not faithful enough to say no to sin, God always yeah. is. Yeah. That's why the Holy Ghost in you yes. should be the one ruling yes. your life. Amen. And Have when the Holy Ghost control. is saying no, yes. you agree you with the Holy yes. Ghost. Amen. And guess what? Amen. That temptation uh, does not ever turn to sin. So I want to turn over to James because oh. I want to read something to you out of James I know where you're chapter 1. Come Listen on. to what James chapter 1 says. And I'm going to say, I'm going to start reading in verse 12. Listen yes, to this. Come on. It says, blessed. Everybody say blessed. Blessed. Blessed is the man that endures temptation. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. For when he is tried, he, were, he shall receive the crown of life, yes. which the Lord has promised to them that love him. Listen to it's me. A promise. Do you love God today? That's right. Come do, on. Do you, do you desire to have the crown of yes. life today? Yes. Listen oh, to yes. me. Blessed is a man that endures endureth. a temptation. Yes, endureth. So when you endure temptation, it means that that, that temptation does not turn yeah. into sin. Amen. Listen, Amen. now let me keep reading. Let no man say, this is verse 14, James yeah. 1, 14. It says, let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted, tempted of God. God. Yeah. So anybody out there that's saying, well, God did this to me or God did this. No, yeah, no, he didn't. no, that's a religious He's saying. Just, he is the true life. God has given you love. Yeah. He's given you life. He's given yeah, you peace. Exactly. But God is not sitting there tempting you because Amen. it says it right here. Let no, no man, man say when he is tempted, he is I am tempted, tempted of God. Yes. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. So listen yes. to me. It is not God tempting you with Amen. evil. Amen. Stop blaming God for something that yes. God is not Come doing. On. Huh? Come I'm on. here to change your perspective about who God is in your life yes. today. God is not this old evil guy sitting there waiting yeah. to knock you over the head when you say a bad word or when you sin. God is love, and he desires you to live yes. without sin. Yes. And he's given you a way out. Come I'm going to keep reading. It says, but every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his oh, own lust God. and enticed. Yeah. Listen, we, you and I, are tempted when we're drawn away by our own lust and enticed. Listen. Temptation is not sin. Yeah. Temptation is not sin. So let me take it a step further. It says, then when lust has conceived, conceived. you say lust has to be conceived. Yeah. Lust has to be conceived. Then when lust is conceived, it brings forth sin. Yeah. Now, sin just took place. Yeah. And sin, when it is finished, brings forth death. death. Yeah. The law of sin and death takes place in people's lives. Yeah. There are people dying, Brother Luke, yes. way too young. Way, way, way young. too young because they get involved in a sinful, yes. perpetual lifestyle. Yep. God loves you. God forgives you. Yes. God is saying don't live that way. But when somebody goes to living in a sinful, perpetual lifestyle, yep. 
they can experience an early death. Yeah, they sure can. They because sure can. Romans 8, 6 says, to be carnally minded, minded is, is death. death. Yeah. What does carnally minded mean? Carnally minded means I'm operating yes. by my five senses, yes. Come on. by what I see, taste, hear, or smell. Okay, I'm operating by my five senses instead of walking by the spirit. faith. Yeah. You see, when you yeah. walk by faith, you're walking Come by on. the spirit. Yeah. So listen to me. Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. Yes. Are you hearing Jesus' voice? Come today? on. Come on. I mean, I told, uh, I, I gave testimony this morning on the way in to yes, work this morning. Sure I mean, on the way into work. Listen, way into work. <laughs> way, <laughs> way, way in the radio people. station. I come in and uh, I called in at the uh, the national syndicated radio station yep. there this morning on 102.7. I called in to announce our youth event. Come on. And I pulled over on the side of the road for five minutes. Five okay, minutes. five minutes. I pulled over on the side of the road. The guy, uh, Brother Greg, let me announce the uh, the youth event there yes. in Hemp Hill. I mean, it went all over the country. Yes, it did. Okay. And then I took off down the road in the pathway that I'm, I normally travel. And as I go down the highway before I get to the radio station, I saw flashing lights up on the hill. And as I got closer, I could tell a bad wreck had taken yep. place. A bad wreck. Yep. A bad wreck, folks. There was fire trucks. There was, uh, uh, not fire trucks. There was uh, uh, ambulances there. Yep. There was sheriff department, highway patrol. And it was a terrible, terrible, it looked like head-on. It looked like a head-on yep. wreck is what happened. And as I was passing that, I was praying for those people. Yes. I was praying for those the people Spirit in that wreck. Yeah. And the Spirit of God rose up inside of me. And the Lord told me, He said, if you hadn't have stopped, you'd have been right in the middle of it. Yes. Yes. Listen to me. Yes. When the Lord had not have given five minutes, you would have absolutely been right yeah. in the middle of that wreck. Yeah. So understand that this is so important that we listen to the Lord's voice. Exactly. That we listen to the warnings of the Holy yes. Spirit. Because he gives us Holy Spirit yes, to take keep heed. us comfort, take to heed. take heed. Yes. So we're, we're talking in, in, in Romans chapter 6 right quick. We, we want to go there. we got another song we're going to play here in a minute. Yes, we but do. But didn't it say that we're dead to sin? We are. Let me, uh, yeah, read it. Verse number 7. Read, yeah, keep, keep reading that. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Yes. For now if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. Amen. Amen. So, so when we are baptized... Uh, you know, with Christ, it, yep. you know, in the in, when we're baptized underwater, completely when, submerged. When we go underwater, yep. completely submerged, that is showing our dead, our death to yes. our old life. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's showing our death to our old life, and when we come up out of the water, we're coming up as a new, new resurrected, yes, new a man, new creature. Yeah. Right. A new creature. Yes. As a matter of fact, new it creation. says in verse four. Come on. It says that therefore we are buried with him by baptism. That's what it says. Into death. Unto death. And that like as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we should walk in newness of life. Yes. Listen, if you have been born again, you have a new life inside of you. Yes, you do. Second yes. Corinthians five seventeen says that we're Come a new on. creation in Christ. Yes. And as a new creation in Christ, yes. it says that old things have passed, passed away, away, all things have become, become new. new. Yes. Right? So think about this. As we become a new creation in Christ, yeah. we have to renew our mind. Uh, yes. Come on. Come on. To the Word of God. Woo! Come on. Roman, I think that's Romans 12 too. Yeah. It says, Be not conformed Form to this world, yeah. be ye transformed, transformed by, by the renewing, renewing of our mind, mind. Yes. to know what is a good, acceptable, and, and perfect, perfect will of God. Yeah. So there's something about, brothers and sisters, reading God's Word, yes. having our mind renewed to yes. the Word of God, and listening to the Holy Ghost in you yes. to be able to walk in the newness, newness of life. life. Come Hallelujah. On. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, so, Lord. So the Holy Ghost just give me another scripture. Come on. Let me turn over here. Titus 2.11. Titus 2.11, if y'all heard me talk about it before, this is one of my favorite scriptures. I have a lot of favorite scriptures, Brother Luke. I bet you do. But I have. Come this on. is one of my favorite. Listen Come to what on. Titus 2.11 says. Come on. It says, For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. Yes. Everybody say all men. All men. Not oh, just my. some. Not just Every those that are chosen. Soul. All yeah. men yes. has seen the grace of God. Listen. Uh, verse 12 says, Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, that we should live soberly. That's not talking about being a drunk. It's talking about being single-mindedness. Yes. Soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world world we're talking about today brother Luke. yeah we're talking about today when yes. the world is going crazy Christ when our man. government is going crazy yeah. yes we are to live in this present world yes. righteously and godly yes. as we are looking for that blessed hope it says and that glorious, glorious appearance, appearance of our great god and our savior jesus christ who gave himself for us yes 
that he might redeem us from all iniquity. Everybody say all iniquity. All iniquity. All iniquity. Not just some iniquity, yes. but all iniquity. And purify unto himself a peculiar you hear that? people. Come on. Peculiar people. We're a little different. We are a little different. We're a little different. Amen. Some people call me fanatic. <laughs> I think some people call you fanatic. Definitely. You know what? We just love Jesus. Yes, we do. Jesus. But we, we're talking about peculiar people. Yes. And it says, zealous of yes. good works. Brother Luke, we're doing a good work today. Yes, we are. Yes. We're zealous to oh, do a good work on. today. Come we're we're zealous of proclaiming this gospel yes, all over the world. Yes, we're even. Ain't we? I, yes, so we we're zealous. And then it goes on, and listen, the, the word of the come Lord on. is going to take up for us right come here. On. Think about this. Because yeah. some people may get jealous Ooh. of us. Huh? Yeah. They, may, they yeah. say, well, who do you think you are? Yeah. Well, I'm God's son. Who do you think you are? <laughs> come on. <laughs> but listen what it says here. These things speak and exhort yeah. and rebuke with, with what? All, authority all authority and let no man despise you. Listen, there are despisers of the truth. Oh my goodness, yes. You meet them every day. Every day. They're called the Pharisees and Sadducees of our day. <laughs> they are despisers of the truth. Yes. And you can yes. be so religious yes. today that you do not know the truth. Hosea 4, 6 says, Come My on. people perish for lack of knowledge. knowledge yes. You know what? You can be a theologian, can quote scripture forward and backwards, but if you don't have an intimate relationship Come with Jesus, on. he's going to say, depart from me, me I never, never knew, knew you. you. Come on. That's yeah. what he's going to say. That's true. That's you better true. have an intimate relationship yes, with Jesus. You better know God's love. You better have an experience yes. with the Holy Ghost. Yes. Listen, Jude 20 says, Brethren, build yourself up in your most holy faith, praying in the Holy, holy Ghost. Ghost. Listen, how do you pray in the Holy Ghost if you have not experienced the baptism oh, of the Holy Ghost? Oh. This is what I'm telling you. There is oh. a fire that's coming about, yes. just like on the day of Pentecost. Yes. Listen, Pentecost, the celebration of Pentecost yeah. is coming up in May. Yeah. Do you know that? We're going to be celebrating Pentecost yes, in May. Come on. You know, Brother Roy is coming in April. Come on, Come on, getting us ready for Pentecost. <laughs> he may not leave until oh way my after Pentecost. God, I'm telling you. you hear me? Yeah. So listen, Hallelujah. I believe Hallelujah. I believe the 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 third awakening is here. It's where here. Joel chapter two, where he said, "I'm going to pull my spirit out, out on all, all flesh." Come on, my young men and my my yeah. young women are going to prophesy. prophesy. Come on, see visions. Come on, come on. For all you religious people that don't believe a woman should prophesy, well, talk to Joel about it. <laughs> Talk to the Lord about it because a woman can prophesy just yes. as much yes. as a man can because of the spirit of the yes. same spirit of God lives in a woman lives that lives in a man. In a man. Come on. Come on. And that, and he is not a respecter of people. Yes. I want to tell you right now, you better get right with the Lord Come today. On. Because he's coming back for a people, yes. a bride, spotless yes, without pure. blemish. Come on. He's he, I'm talking about a pure bride, a virgin that's coming back yes. that is not committing a, adultery yes. or idolatry with Come any on. other religion. Come on. Come on. Come he on. wants somebody that is faithful, faithful and true. And true. Come oh. on. <laughs> Man, he, he is so awesome. Woo. Well, listen, we have another song we want to play for you right quick. And I I exhort and admonish, and I, I am I'm saying, church, it is time to stand oh. up. Yes. It is time to stand up for righteousness yes. and call evil evil and call good good. 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 Yeah. It is time for the church to stand up and take her place in righteousness yes. and true holiness. Yes. Listen to me. I'm talking to you out there. We it is time to stand up. Stop I'm playing. Gonna, I'm gonna yeah stop playing church. Stop playing stop playing church. Stop playing church. That's it. Have a relationship with yes. Jesus sense and experience God's love to the point to where you know what you get on the floor and get immersed and you can't come get up on. you don't want to get up come on because of the say. love of God is like a blanket over you I'm coming telling upon you I, man yeah, thank you on. Jesus have, for your on. Holy Woo. Ghost up in here thank right you, Lord. now Lord listen we're going to play this song stand mm. up this is a theme song of running with Jesus yes, it is. youth event that we're having in Hemp Hill Texas <laughs> on April the 17th Two, two to five, five. we are commanding people to stand, stand up, up. Yes. for the righteousness of God. Yes. So as we as we play this, y'all stand up and praise yes. the living God. Come hallelujah, on. hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Come on, now worship. Yes, Lord. Here we go. Listen to this. Yeah. 
This is what we're going to be on. doing at the rodeo arena. April this generation, the 17th, yes, yes. Two to five. It's going to be this generation. This stand generation up. is standing up. Come on, all we're you go, young people. Come on. We joined in with y'all. Standing This in generation one is standing up in one accord in righteousness yes. and true holiness. Oh. I tell you, the Lord give me another scripture here. Let me let me read it out of Philemon. Many people don't know where Philemon is. It's just a little one pager, but it's found right before Hebrews and right after Titus. Listen to what this scripture says, Philemon 1 6. It says that the communication of thy faith may become effectual by acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ right. Jesus. Listen to me. When you begin to acknowledge every good thing that Jesus is doing inside of you, yes. your faith becomes effectual. Oh my goodness. Come on. Tell, That's what it not, says. Yes, That's it what does. it says. Yeah. It says that your, your faith becomes effectual yes. by communicating yes. every good yes. thing. Every good thing. Listen, and I want to tell you right now, if you've been born again, you have nothing but good living inside Amen. of you. Amen. Amen. You know, you may not feel like you're always good. Yeah. And maybe you're not always good. Yeah. But we pray for you that you can follow and be led by the Spirit, Spirit of God yes. to where you can live and walk in the Spirit, Spirit to where yes. the bad that you're doing turns into good. good. Yes. You see, we've all we all started in the same place, yes. Brother yeah. Luke. We're all on the same ground. We, we all started as sinners, okay? Yeah. I was a sinner, yeah. 
But now when I got born again, come I on. am now a son. So, come on. So listen, for all you folks out there that still think you're sinners, well, you need to get born again. Well, your identity. Yeah, you need to get yeah. your you need to get born again. You say, Well, I am born again. I say, well, yeah. then stop calling yourself so a sinner. sinner. Come on. Stop. Come on. You know, Jesus corrected me one day. Yeah. Right before I had any sense and knew about this <laughs> stuff. I was I was saying that old religious thing, oh, uh -huh. I'm just oh, an just old sinner. sinner. Yeah. Trodden through this land, yeah. and just hoping that I can do better. Yeah. Just trying, you know, yeah, just trying, keep just yeah. just keeping my head above, yeah. what, you know, yeah. all those religious yeah. things we say. Yeah. And the come Lord on. stopped me. Oh, come on. He said, David. I said, yes, sir. He said, why did you call me a sinner? I said, Lord, I didn't call you a sinner. Come he on. said, oh yeah. He said, you called me a sinner. Yeah. I said, no, Lord, I called me a sinner. Come he on. goes, do I live in you? I yes. said, yes, Lord, you do. He said, if I live in you, everything you say about yourself, you say about me. Come on. Come on. Come on. I said, Lord, forgive me. Yes. I said, because, Lord, you're not a sinner. No. And he said, David, you're not a sinner either. Yes. He said, you're now my son. Yes. He said. I'm claiming you. Come he, on. He said, I'm claiming you as my son. Yeah. Because, you know, if you look by definition, a sinner is somebody who yes. lives in perpetual sin. Yes. And, Lord, if you're living in perpetual sin, you need to get born again. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Come we, on. We're getting some people born again today. Oh, Hallelujah. Man, yes. look, we're running out of time here. Oh. We're running out of time here again. You know, we got, uh, man, just what, uh, about, about four minutes. Four minutes. You know what we need to do, Brother Luke? What you got? We need to, we need to pray. Yes, we do. We need to pray for the folks. We need to pray for those that have heard this message today, yes. that the love of God would come That's upon right. them. We need to pray for anybody that needs healing out there today that they've received their healing by the blood of Christ. Oh we by, the, by his oh stripes, yes. you are healed. Yeah. And so, Brother Luke, just go ahead and, and say a prayer uh, kind of as we wind this thing up uh, for the folks that are listening. And again, remember, April the 17th at the Hemp Hill yes. Rodeo Arena. I'm going to have Roy Fields here Friday, Friday next Friday. Yes. Yes. So we're gonna, you're going to be getting reminded again. Yes. But again, y'all put it on your calendars, all you pastors, all you youth ministers, all you young people. Tell your mamas and daddies, hey, I want to go to Hemp Hill on April the 17th next yes. Saturday to see Roy Fields. We're going to worship. We're going to have a very wonderful yes, time. So we are. let's so go ahead and have a prayer. Uh, Brother Luke, go ahead. Lord, we come up for you today, Lord. Lord, we honor you. We exalt you, Lord, that you just gave us this platform, Lord, to preach your gospel. Lord, we may teach the way you want us to teach. Lord, yes. we may take heed to your voice, Lord, yes. and none others. Lord, we are called by your name today, Lord. Lord, we are redeemed by you. By Calvary, Lord, we accept everything that you've done on the cross for us, Lord. We come before you with just humbleness, Lord. You may use us, Lord. We may get your work done, Lord. That we may bring people closer to you, Lord. You said your your word will not return void over these airways, Lord. We will speak life and yes. peace into every single person we come into, Lord. Yes. That your you. love and your grace may abound, Lord. Yes, thank you. And that we may touch others, Lord. We go about our day today. Thank that you. we may just show your light, Lord. We may be true. Fellowship, Lord, we may be true sons and daughters of you. Yes. Lord, we may know you, Lord, you may know us. Lord, we may give everyone that, that just feels lost, Lord, we may lead them to you again. Yes, thank that you. That we just give them, Lord, and just give them your love and your mercy and your kindness. And we thank you and we praise you for this awesome day that you gave us, Lord. In Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Brother Luke. And you know, folks, I want you, I want you to be reminded, this is an 18-year-old Young Amen. man, Amen. that loves the Lord, yes. that just said the prayer. Yes, I'm he Lord. is praying under the anointing of the Holy Ghost Come on. that lives in him. Come on. And I want to tell you right now, for a young man or a young woman to get up and have a prayer like that, praying, it blesses me. Yes. And you know who it blesses more? It blesses, blesses the Lord. Lord. Yes, it come on. He wants Lord. to hear from you. He wants, he wants to, hear. to hear. You know, all prayer is, brother Luke. You know, people sometimes they make it too rigid. Prayer is just holy conversation with the Lord. That's right. That's right. Man, I'm out there in my pasture sometimes. You ain't got us use big words. <clears throat> no. He just want. He just wants to hear. You. He just wants to hear us talking That's to right. him. That's right. You know, and so I thank God that you know he is he is not so strict that I can't be out there on my tractor or plowing. Yeah. Or out there in my garden of picking vegetables yeah. or planting seeds. Yeah. Man, I just got my Come garden on. planted. For all that rain came. Hallelujah. Praise God. We got plenty of rain. Yes, and them Lord. seeds are going to be coming up. Oh, yeah. But you know what? These seeds that we're putting out over there, ways are coming Oh, my goodness. Too. Yes, Come they on. are. Come we're, on. Planting, we're planting we're planting seeds every right day. now. Every day. We planted a, a whole hour's worth of <laughs> seeds today over the airway. Come on. We and sure you know did. what? We, can, we, we, can, we seeds. control our harvest. Yes. Because if you plant one yeah. kernel of corn, you're going to get a couple of ears of corn. Yeah. But if I plant a pound of corn, come, come on. on. Come if on. I plant a pound of corn, how I'm much on. are you planting? How much are you planting? How much are you planting? How, how many are seeds? Come on. Hey, Jesus says, don't eat your seed. Yeah. Don't eat your seed. 
you know, you got to plant your seed yes. to make sure you have a harvest. Yes. That's right. Yes. So we want to be sure that you're planting seeds Amen. today. We have planted Amen. seeds today. We're telling you about the love of God. Yes, we are. We're telling how important it is to have an intimate relationship, relationship. with yes. Jesus. That's what it is. I'm telling you right now. That and it is more important today than yes, ever, ever, oh ever, because it says in First Timothy or Second Timothy, one of them Timothys, come it on. says perilous times are going to come. Well, Second, they're here. Yeah, they're here. They are. Second Timothy. Second Timothy. Hey, he, he said they're coming. Yes. Well, look, look at our world. It's gone plumb crazy. Yes, it they're is. here. But you know what? Don't lose hope. Endure. Don't lose hope. Endure to the end. Yes, endure the we're, hardship of the good soldier. Come on, you. come on. We're an overcomer. Yes, we are. We're an overcomer by the blood of the Lamb. Yes, we are. And by we're the word of our testimony. We have the power. <laughs> we have the authority. We have the yes. authority to overcome. Yes, we do. Because he that is in us, us is greater than he that is in the world. Come on. <laughs> it, it says that we can come boldly to the throne of grace. grace. Yes. Because as he is, yes. so are we also. Yes. Come on. Yeah, come on. So as Jesus is, how is Jesus? Jesus is righteous. Yeah, sitting and in he's heavenly holy. places. He's holy. Yes, he is. He's, he's with absolute perfection. As yes. he is, so are we. Can so you see? Listen, on, folks, I'm talking you? to somebody. Come on. Can you see yourself holy and righteous as Jesus is because come he lives in you? If you can't, get born again. Yes. Get baptized in the Holy Ghost. Yes, come on. You'll start seeing things like see just things like never before. Come see on. from the bottom. He's there. <laughs> come on. Well, listen, we're wrapping this thing up. We just, uh, we have about another, yeah, Luke told me, he said, you made a mistake uh, last time. We had 30 more seconds. We do have a, just a little bit, just a few minutes here. I'm not going to get too excited. But I just want to tell you, uh, Melda, Melda and I love you. We pray 3 John 2 yes, over each do. and every one yeah. of you. Go read that 3 John 2 because it says, I pray, brethren, yeah. that you would prosper and be in health yeah. even as your soul oh. prospers. Oh. You see, there's something about your soul, your mind with an emotion being renewed to God's Word. Yeah that will allow you to prosper and be in health. Yes. You know, getting healed is great, yep. but living healthy is the blessing. Come on. Come That's on. True. When you can live healthy, that is the blessing. Yes. So we just want to encourage you today. We got about 30 seconds here. Y'all be sure to tune in to the Midday Show with Patsy. Yes. We love Miss Patsy, yes, Paula, Talisa, everybody here. Y'all be sure and turn in, tune in with them after the news and continue to pray for this youth event. Yes. All you ministers and everything. Y'all come because it's going to be an awesome it time. We get a, we're a, we're a week show. away. Yes. So we we just bless you. We speak God's blessing upon yes, you, we and we say all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Oh my goodness! All right. Facebook, we love you. We love you. We thank you so, so much, much for tuning in. I pray that this has been good. I'm yes. going to go back and look at the recording and yes, everything that questions. we did here yeah. because this was a test run. I had my, my buddy, Steve Littlegreen. He's my web page developer, and he, Steve Littlegreen was watching as well. Thank you, Steve, for Thank watching you. and Such working in the back, background scenes. So for right now, we're going to sign off. Thank you very much. We love you. Yes. And as always, we do pray 3 Third John 2 over, over yes. each and every one of you in yes. Jesus' name. God bless you. Bye-bye. Amen.